everyone welcome back to my channel if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel in this video i am going to share you what is actually managed home screen on four android devices right so we are actually excited about to share this information about this managed home screen which is called mhs this is actually recently redesigned has been re redesigned to improve the the workflow throughout the applications this updated design offer more actually more usable and supported experience with the managed home screen this newly updated managed home screen is application is now available in public preview so you can start using that uh, the the version of this app uh, uh, the application is 2.2.0 you can see on my screen okay so i will show you actually what is managed home screen so managed home screen as you can see here it's a, it's an android applications it's not for ios and used to device enroll into intune as a android enterprise dedicated devices right so it's not for the uh, work work managed or cope or kobo or work profile mode it's if you want to give or manage the home screen of fully dedicated devices or in a kiosk mode so it's, it's if it's a company fully dedicated devices it offer the ability to customize so what what what, what will it offer it will offer to customize the control of the user experience on enrolled devices which actually allow organizations to uh, to 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 customize it actually so what you can do uh, being as admin you can customize the control their android devices so that your users can only access or allow only access what they need actually such as like controlling applications access like if you want to give uh, like edge browser or office that they can only see on the home screen not other applications like unwanted applications curate a consistent and simplified experience across devices type like whether you are using samsung or any other devices lenovo google pixels Xiaomi, any any phone redmi anything any devices across device type of android because you know android has variety of oem right so that users can easily access those applications and intuitively, intuitively perform their task right because you're putting some of these applications where you're customizing and controlling the android devices fully as a because it's a company owned devices so you're giving or managing home screen what all applications will be there and how user can access it so that no matter whether these devices are from which oem which manufacturer like samsung Xiaomi or any other Chinese model they will user your user will get the same screen okay and which is actually simplified and consistent experience this is actually more important uh, the third is you can see the easily access relevant troubleshooting workflow to address issue on devices right and it will offer the streamlined sign in and sign out experience when a device is configured with a shared devices mode right if you are using this or controlling like if if the single devices are being used by the multiple like in retail shop or somewhere they can sign in check in and sign out when when their shift is over right so it will give the streamlined experience sign in and sign out of course you want to learn more about this you can click on this link i will put this link you see here i'm just uh, showing like this you see here this is the home screen like like we have put the team share point and all you can see you can put the wallpaper as well right you can this is actually all the overview let me show you quickly how you can configure this right and how you can join to the pub public preview mode right so you see to get started in the public pre public preview mode 
ensure your devices would target running on this managed home screen app version so in the Intune admin center you have to navigate this manage devices add app configurations policy if you already have the app configuration policy and you would like to target you can edit those existing policy and, and configure it but you see it's only available for fully managed devices and corporate only work profile mode so it's only for the cope and fully managed devices I already made video and uh, how many methods we have to enroll because you know there are multiple methods for Android enrollment so if you go to here you see there are zero touch enrollment you see for bulk and you see personally on work profile corporate on corporate on. so this option is only available with these two okay corporate on dedicated devices and corporate on fully managed users devices okay let's get back to the article okay uh, <clears throat> so you see the general availability so once the public preview mode will be redesigned and will be generally available the previous HMA workflow will be deprecated and will no longer be offered with the previous HMS workflow okay so I will show you how actually how you can configure this very quickly okay how you can set up this Microsoft managed home screen on dedicated devices in multi app kiosk mode so you see on the dedicated devices so if it's if you are using this corporate on dedicated devices you will see you can customize being as an Intune admin and your user will see like this on the home screen so if you are publishing these application they can only see whether it's iPad iPhone or any devices you can customize it you can also set the custom wallpaper you can also customize your apps into a folder like like this one right productivity or folder you can put in you can put it you can add widgets you can also screens you can also put the size of the application folder or or the the, the screen saver as well this is actually you you this is the uh, you can go through this article I, I'm not going through all this article otherwise it will take longer so how do I actually maybe you're wondering how do I set up this so here you see you have to set up the Intune enrollment profile and device group first so you see I have already shown you corporate on dedicated profile you have to go to the Intune go to the devices right Android and before the Android enrollment, make sure you have the uh, prerequisites enabled. Your your Intune Tenant is connected to the main is Google Play Store, and then these options will be enabled. So you have to click on Corporate on Dedicated Devices, right? So Corporate on Dedicated Devices, and then you have to create new profiles here. You can give give it any name or whatever you want to do in the descriptions, and then. It will get created I've already made video on how you can do this so I'm not doing now and then you already have the groups by default all devices or or if you want to create any dynamic groups or device you can create it on the Azure or or just by going to here uh, groups you can create it I have already also made video how you can create a new groups or dynamic groups or static groups okay now what you have to do step three is approved and assigned managed app and other managed applications right so i already you have to go to the application section since your intune tenant is connected to the google play store you have to go to the apps android and you have to click on add apps and manage google play apps you have to select it since my device is uh, intune tenant is not connected so but you will see it here once your device is connected to the Google Play Store, you will able to see it, right? And then you can publish it. 
these applications to your or uh, you see manage Google Play apps <coughs> and you see here as you can see you have to select manage Google Play applications into in company portal managed home screen right so once you publish these applications you can search it here I have already made video right and you can add some of the other applications like is office outlook team whatever you want you can add it and publish it the step four is once the application has been successfully synced and it will describe it and manage home screen and you can assign to the device groups now step four is managed enterprise system application apps so this is actually very good if you are using corporate on dedicated devices manage system home screen system application are the app that ship on the devices by certain certain original equipment manufacturer and are not published in google play store these apps are often disabled by default upon enrollment so you'll need to follow these steps to enable so how you can do this you can go to the apps all apps again and then you'll see android enterprise system apps you see here if you see here android enterprise system applications if you the last and you have to select it and you can put the na package name right you can put the name package package i have already made video how you can find the package of of your uh, of your applications from oem like i have already made video how you can do that so you can put that name publisher and the package name create a device configurations profile the step five is that you have to create the configurations profile so how you can do that you have to go to the devices and then you have to go to the android right and the configurations profile and you have to create a new configurations profile right so you have to select it here android enterprise profile type it's fully managed okay so you have to create a, this new profile here you see here you have to select what options are there fully managed dedicated and corporate own work profile so you have to put this one and configure this policy right so dedicated devices kiosk mode and the device enrollment dedicated devices multi-app mode and then in the multi-app you can put all these uh, applications with the package name right and then configure it right so you see here you can put it device restrictions click next you see here I am just showing it you can put it here applications device experience the, these are the settings you have to go to the device in experience and you can select dedicated devices or fully managed I am selecting dedicated devices kiosk mode you can configure as I said single app mode or multi app mode if you select multi app you can custom layout you can define it in the home screen right so uh, if you want like this this whatever and you can add it applications here or folder you can give the folder name and apps name right so that the save the user will see the home screen okay and you want to lock the home screen yes if you want to folder icon what is this app folder and icon size these all are actually you see the visual home screen kiosk mode everything you can customize it here right this is all actually about in the kiosk style okay so i have already shown here let's go and then you have to put the some configurations prof configuration setting so how you can configure this app configurations policy you have to go to the apps and you cancel this and then you see the app configurations policy 
you have to create manage devices right and put like this and you have to select android enterprise here you have to select fully managed and you you can target in the applications okay and then put the configurations below this like this one so once you configure that and assign this app configurations profile and then you can also import the json file right in the configurations or you can directly put this configurations like this one i know you already know and then you can configure the custom ordering i have already added you see and the user as soon as the user will enroll the devices with uh with this corporate on or fully dedicated devices user will see uh the, the on, on on their devices uh, how actually home screen has to be managed so there are very clear steps are mentioned here in this article and i already shown you step by steps i will put this link as well you can follow this link and create in your intune environment if you have a plan to use managed home screen on kiosk in multi app mode or single app mode i hope you understand what is managed home screen and what is the use of this till then thank you have a good day